Hey everyone, it's Madison, Jesse Otto. You know, the more I sit back and think about it, I don't know if there is a politician in United States history that owes more to the media than Joe Biden. For months leading up to the 2020 election, the media largely covered for Joe Biden. They buried stories about Tara Reid, his son Hunter, and so much more. But while they had this relationship with Joe Biden, he didn't give anything back to them. They sacrificed, they sold themselves out, and here we are now. And when the media compared people like President Trump to Hitler, Stalin, and Mussolini, they forgot to make the comparison about what these people's relationships were like with the media. Of course, President Trump had a very open, sometimes contentious, but open relationship with the media. We're seeing the exact opposite for Joe Biden. And Joe Biden's relationship with the media is actually largely similar to many of these dictators who are very close, won't take questions on the White House lawn, will not uh, go in accept those difficult questions. I mean, if it's not something that's very, very simple, you see Joe Biden get instantly very combative and uh, he's in a very confused state. I think that's something we've all come to realize very quickly, but there doesn't seem to be a plan. And I read an article a few weeks back, it was actually in Vanity Fair, talking about the fact that, you know, is this low profile media strategy going to work? And if so, how long is it going to work? Because I think very quickly we're seeing, it's not just conservatives that are pretty upset about the way they're handling the media, but you see people even like CNN's Brian Stelter acknowledging the fact that this is maybe not gonna work and that people are already wanting more access. Of course, the White House responds uh, and you see leading democratic strategists like Paul Begala, who's quoted here in Vanity Fair talking about, you know, he says, the Biden is not threatened by someone else being in the spotlight. And uh, he just is allowing, he's enjoying this strategy uh, where he can, show off these great people he put in these positions of power. You're the president of the United States. Where's the leadership? Where's the unity that Joe Biden talked about in his inauguration speech? Doesn't seem to be happening. You very, very rarely even hear from Joe Biden. When you do, it's unlikely that he'll answer any questions, let alone tough questions. Uh, it's been reported that he pre-selects the reporters that he'll take questions from. Everything very, very planned out, like I talked about before, more similar to what you'd see in a dictatorship, not what you saw with President Trump. They say, well, in just over a week, he booked 80 TV and radio interviews with 20 senior and administration officials, members of the COVID-19 response team, cabinet secretary de designates. That's what Politico reports. But of course, we keep in mind that as we read through that, not one of those people is the president himself. He is the leader. While he may ask for advice or information from leading experts, which is important, and every president should do that, at the end of the day, he's responsible for the decisions that are made that affect the lives of the American people. I'm very concerned about the relationship that the Biden administration has with the media. I'm concerned about the lack of transparency and openness. Uh, and interestingly enough, when you look back to multiple administrations before the Biden administration, uh, on top of press conferences and formal events and briefings, uh, you see people do these short question and answer sessions. We've seen these clips on social media, you see them uh, on cable news networks over the years. Uh, and when you look at these stats for the first two years of these administrations, you see a stark difference. President Trump having over 338 short question and answer sessions impromptu uh, during his first two years in office, compared, of course, to 243 for George W. Bush and only 75 for President Obama. But will we even reach 75 with Joe Biden? It's not looking very likely. Will we reach 25 with Joe Biden? Who really knows? But these are important. We need to have that transparency. We need more transparency. Moving forward, we should hope we have presidents that are like President Trump uh, in terms of being able to speak directly to the American people, being able to communicate with the media. It doesn't matter whether they have a, a great relationship with the media. If they don't feel the media is treating them fairly, that's fine. We can have contentious and open relationships at the same time. Uh, but right now, there's really little to no relationship at all. And that's the concern that I have with Biden and the Biden administration relationship with the media.